So everybody knows pretty much Takashi 6 9 had got like blackballed and banned. None of the DJs and none was playing his music, you know, partly because he, you know, told and then also because he was just so arrogant and just did so much. Just talked a whole lot of trash. Well, I'm sure the trash talking and stuff would have been normal. But on top of that, talking a lot of trash, making people mad, he also did the snitching as well, which kind of got him blackballed from a lot of DJs. Now, one of the DJs that goes by the name of Funk Flex, pretty much, you know, he came out to Twitter or he came out to Instagram and said something about you know playing them again eventually and uh you know finesse two times objected immediately and had something to say about that and i'll get right into those details right after the intro welcome back to key talk media this is your host key talk check it out man all right i'm gonna get shot to notification game key talk game for rocking with me every single video if you listen to my voice right now go to hit notification bell so you get a notification every single time i drop a video anyways so it looks like you no know, the beating that 6ix9ine actually took obviously everybody saw it on video kick punch slap you know some all type of stuff pretty much was be bloody had to go to the hospital uh that kind of humanized him up until this point he was saying you know going on this little i'd never be touched i'll never be touched you know what i'm talking about but then once he actually did get touched and got brutalized by those three guys who've actually been arrested and i think one of those guys actually trying to do like a gofundme his wife got a gofundme because he's like one of the heads of some gang and all this stuff like that right anyways so that kind of like humanized him to show all right this is a human even though everybody knows he's an actual human but like i said he just wasn't getting touched so you know that actually made people feel bad for him and then on top of that he came back and dropped the video showed that he went to the hospital showed that he was giving a whole bunch of money away right after that happened he went to like cube i believe and gave a lot of money away and that's i guess you know what got to uh fun flex and fun flex pretty much said is it becoming harder and harder to stay mad at this kid with a question mark i hope a lesson has been learned and we can move on with a question mark so i guess he was just saying to the public listen man yeah he done did this stuff yes he you know he made his mistakes he talked a lot of trash he did some snitching but you know what i'm talking about you see how he got gay back you see all this stuff right so he pretty much put it out that he's gonna try to start attempting to play him again now you know finesse two times you know what i'm talking about he, he you know he, finesse two times one of those people kind of like boozy how he did his time and then do no type of ratting or snitching like that at all so of course he's gonna be a hundred percent against anybody that done any type of snitching even though i don't know if he said nothing about gun i don't know if a lot of these rappers said nothing about gun at all uh other than boosie boosie came out said something but anyways finesse two times responded back to funk flex and was like nope meaning like you know no to the fact of you know hey it's not becoming harder to stay mad at him and, and nah no lesson they've been learning keep his it's on that side on somebody and keep the real screech and goes over here now if we take a look at this and we step outside and we look at it and we were to compare a 69 to a finesse two times yes finesse two times for sure i would say got more of the screech than 69 but that audience isn't as big as the audience of 69 guy because he's got like overseas and cubas and all this stuff and also a lot of people in america too right so we know that one of the biggest um you know listeners of hip-hop aren't black people of course most black people do it but since the majority of black people ain't like the majority of the country of america of course you know whatever percent that is that's going to be the percent that listens to it but you know the the the, the biggest consumers of it i think they said it's like white folk inside of america right and a lot of them are not really caring if somebody's a snitch or not you know talking about they just want to listen to music for the music now as far as the screech accepting it and being played in all the clubs and stuff ah that might be a dead end for them uh but you know that's what finesse two times got you know talking about so you know you know, I'm talking about comparing the two like that, of course, if we talk about artist wise, well, real screech go wise, of course, finesse two times going to be the better screech. You know, I'm talking about a real deal screech. You know, I'm talking about standing on all morals, principles of the screech, like he say, you know, I'm talking about, and making sure he stay down with the screech rules and all that. And ain't no going outside of that, a real deal man on the screech rules, right? And then, of course, you got 6 9 who's got a bigger audience. And like I say, he's a snitch. He ain't living by no screech rules or none of that at all. So if the DJ, like funk flex was to begin to start playing 69 again you already know the screech because like finesse two times and other ones will be extremely mad i mean before he even did the snitching and was just talking a whole lot of trash people was already mad at you know talking about he was you know doing all this crazy wild stuff people were mad so just imagine if they were start doing it while he's actually snitch they would just be extremely mad now i will say this there is a lot of selective politicking inside of hip-hop everybody knows that at this point uh if, if you don't like the person 
person and they snitched and it's kind of like you speak other than Boosie. Boosie been all across the boards. So he even went at T.I., which is like his partner. So he all across the boards. But pretty much everybody else, um, you know, it's a lot of selective politicking. If they kind of like the person or the person's kind of lit, they could potentially make another good song. They don't really speak out about it. But if they don't like the person, then it's just no mercy to that person at all. You know what I'm talking about? Of course, we saw like the whole hip hop world talk about 6 9 but we didn't see the whole hip hop world talk about Gunna or even Boston Richie or who else they they alleged snitch you know or even ti you know we didn't see just the whole people do that so it's a lot of selective politicking but anyways how do y'all feel about it man do y'all feel like finesse two time got a point you know talking about sticking to the street code don't get buddy no type of airplay in a club none of the djs or do y'all feel like finesse two times is just mind his own business and just stay out of other people's business let me know some coming down below let me know what you think about this entire ordeal i'm out